Good afternoon, everyone. I uh, just want to welcome you uh, here uh, to uh, the Dublin City Schools and Dublin Middle School in particular uh, for our REACH uh, scholarship uh, signing. Uh, this is something that we have uh, been a part of uh, since its inception, and uh, Dr. Stuckey has been our coordinator uh, throughout our system uh, during that time, and so it's been very exciting to see what our young people who have been recipients of this uh, see them matriculate uh, through Dublin Middle School and on the Dublin High School. So uh, on behalf of our Board of Education, our Chairman uh, John Bell, uh, Vice Chairman uh, James Lanier and Treasurer Lord Travick and our entire Board of Education, uh, we want to welcome you here and at this time we're going to uh, uh, turn it into the hands of uh, uh, Dr. Stuckey at this time. Thank you, Dr. Williams. And Dr. Williams mentioned I do serve as the REACH coordinator. Uh, for the Dublin City School District, and we're just very excited about two students that we have here today and being able to recognize them for doing a great job uh, up until their eighth grade year, and we're excited about uh, what the future holds for them. I want to start off by introducing and recognizing a few special uh, guests that we have here today. We do have our superintendent, Dr. Williams. Also, our uh, HR director, Ms. Lisa Dean, is here, and I think I saw our assistant superintendent, Ms. Flora Bryant. Um, we have some Dublin Middle School staff members, Ms. Washington, Ms. Howard, Ms. King, uh, and many uh, students from Dublin Middle School here as well. And uh, parents and family members, we really uh, want to recognize you because uh, we appreciate the job that you do at home, sending us your children and entrusting us to take care of them in our school district. So parents and family members, we truly thank you. I want to provide a brief history of the REACH Scholarship because many people ask uh, what does REACH Scholarship truly mean and what is it about. So I want to provide some information about the program. REACH Georgia was launched back on February 6, 2012 at the Georgia Institute of Technology with the announcement of AT&T being REACH's first corporate partner with a donation of $250,000. The REACH Georgia Scholarship rewards students for self-accountability, promotes parent involvement, and provides motivation and support, all factors that we know are critical in student educational achievement. In a two-year pilot, Reese Georgia added five school systems uh, back with Raven, Douglas, Dodge, Quitman, and Bullitt counties and committed 35 students as REACH scholars and invested $350,000 back in 2012. Currently today, REACH serves 154 school systems across Georgia and nearly 1,800 scholars and committing over $22 million uh, in scholarships. In Dublin City Schools, we are a school district that participates in REACH at our first graduating class last year. So now we have students in uh, grades 12 all the way down to eighth grade. So we're just excited about being able to continue the program and the financial support and motivation that's going to be provided for these students in order to continue to be motivated. For the current academic year, REACH will enroll 20 new school systems and over 600 new scholars. The goal of REACH is to have all 180 school systems to become a part of the REACH program and serve over 3,000 scholars by year 2021. Students can receive up to $10,000 in scholarship funds upon graduation if they maintain a certain GPA and stay in good behavior and academic standing. Uh, students had to apply and we were able to go through all of those applications and we had to look at their grades, their behavior and their academics and these two students were uh, among the top from the applicant pool so therefore they have been awarded our REACH recipients. Uh, we do have a brief video and uh, Mr. Ms. Ho Ms. Howard if you don't mind. Uh, it started back with Governor Deal and now with Governor Kemp He's continuing the REACH program, so I have a brief video just to show you that the state of Georgia is behind this program and provide some information from Governor Kemp. Hello, this is Governor Brian Kemp. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2019 REACH Signing Day. Everyone here is making an important commitment. Students, you are committing to maintaining good grades, demonstrating good behavior, meeting with your mentor, and pushing through the finish line. Your parents, educators, mentors, and communities also have a role to play in helping you succeed. So don't forget to tell them how much you appreciate them all. 
Today's ceremony is the beginning of a journey. Your REACH scholarship puts you in the fast lane on the road to the future of success. I look forward to watching you accelerate into that future. Congratulations and keep chopping. This time, Miss Lakeisha Washington. Thank you, Dr. Stuckey. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Once again, my name is Lakeisha Washington, and I serve as the Family Engagement Coordinator for Dublin Middle School on in behalf of our lead learner, Mr. Micaiah. I will allow me to extend a sincere thank you to our students, our staff, um, our special visitors, and especially our parents. We celebrate you today as well because we understand in this partnership of student achievement, your role is very, very critical and very, very vital. We do not take that lightly. So once again, parents, family members, congratulations to you as well. I have been given the pleasure of telling you a little bit about our REACH recipients today. And when I call your name, students, if you'll stand. First, we'll start with Ms. Kamoriana Mitchell. Kamoriana Mitchell is an eighth grader here at Dublin Middle School. She is the daughter of Corvincia Carr and Mario Mitchell, and she is 14 years old. She is a member of the DMS band, and she plays percussion. During her free time, she enjoys crafting by making various types of bracelets and listening to music. Once she graduates from high school, she wants to attend Princeton University and pursue a degree in nursing. Kamoriana lives by the golden rule in that she believes that you should treat others how you would like to be treated. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Kamoriana Cor Cor Mitchell. I'm sorry, Kamoriana. <laughs> Mr. Martravius O'Neill. <coughs> Martravius O'Neill is also an eighth grader here at Dublin Middle School. He is the son of Rodriguez and Marissa O'Neill, and he is 13 years old. He participates in several sports here at Dublin Middle School, including being a starter for the DMS football team, and he plays on the basketball team as well. During his free time, Martravius enjoys playing the drums at his church, Loving Ministries Incorporated, playing basketball with his friends, and playing video games. After he graduates from high school, he would like to attend Duke University to play basketball. While he has dreams to one day play in the NBA, he also would like to pursue a degree in Master Cosmetology to become a barber. So he has a backup plan, ladies and gentlemen. Martravius lives by the idea of never giving up. He believes that if you never give up, you will never be defeated. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Martravius O'Neill. Thank you, Ms. Washington. And I can I go on record and say being the former principal here, I know that these are uh, two great students. And like I've said before, we're just very excited about what they've done and what the future holds. And, I tell you, Mark Travis, I'm going to have to go shopping, man. You're pretty clean, so uh, <laughs> we, we're excited for them. Um, with this REACH scholarship, there are some commitments that students, parents, and the school system has to take into account. And so at this time, I'll be reading the student charges. And students, in order to receive this scholarship, I just want you to know you have to maintain everything that's going to be listed in this charge. So I'm going to read through this, and I'm going to ask you to say I will for each of the criteria. And parents, I'll move on to you as well. And then the school system, Dr. Williams, I will ask you to do the same. Students, uh, I want you to understand that participating in the REACH Georgia pro program requires dedication, motivation, and commitment. Upon becoming a REACH scholar, I commit to the following. I adhere to my school's attendance policy and will attend classes regularly. Maintain at least a 2.5 HOPE scholarship GPA as computed by GSFA. If my grades fall below a 2.5 average, I will work with my academic coach to develop an action plan to help my grades improve. I will participate in all scheduled REACH Georgia related activities, meetings, and programs. I will follow my school's code of conduct and behave in a positive way that reflects the program standards both in and out of school. I will remain drug and crime free. I will meet with my matched mentor a minimum of eight times per semester during the school year. I will meet with my academic coach a minimum of one time each month during the school year. 
I will persist in my education in order to graduate from high school and meet all of the admissions requirements to en enroll in a Georgia Hope eligible public or private university college. If so, please say I will. I will also, I also understand the following. If my attendance, behavior, and or grades do not meet the stated school and or program requirements, I will be at risk of being withdrawn from Reach, Georgia. If I am convicted of drug use or criminal behavior, I will e immediately be withdrawn from Reach, Georgia to be eligible for the financial scholarship, which is $2,500 per year for up to four years, a total of $10,000. I will need to graduate from high school with a diploma, enroll full-time in the Georgia Hope Eligible Public or Private University or College, maintain a 2.0 or higher in college, and meet the institution's satisfactory academic progress requirements. If so, I will. Parents, please understand the importance of supporting your student throughout his or her participation in REACH Georgia. Parents, do you commit to the following? Permit my student to meet with a volunteer mentor regularly <coughs> throughout the school year. Support and encourage my student to develop a positive relationship with teachers, mentors, tutors, counselors, and the academic coach. Attend all REACH Georgia sponsored meetings to discuss student needs and participate in related activities. Notify the school system's REACH coordinator if my student is unable to participate in a REACH Georgia event. Communicate with my student's academic coach, teachers, counselors, and or mentor on the following matters. Scholastic achievements or problems, students' goals for college and careers and courses needed to reach these goals, behavior problems at school or at home, positive or negative changes that are impacting my student, change of contact information, and abiding by the REACH Georgia program regulations and guidelines. If you plan to commit to the following, please say I will. Mm -hmm. Dr. Williams, school system, Dublin City School commits to the following, monitoring the student's grades, attendance, and disciplinary status for the duration of his or her secondary school career, provide students with an academic coach, provide students with a mentor, provide students with REACH Georgia related activities, meetings, and programs, Report student information on a regular basis to GSFA's STAR platform and abide by the REACH Georgia program regulations and guidelines. If so, Dr. Williams, please say I will. Once again, we wanted to provide a very small, intimate, brief uh, ceremony for these students. They've done a great job, and if you don't mind, if you would just give me, help me give them a big round of applause for being... being this year's 2019 REACH Georgia recipients. At this time, I do want to call up uh, the lead learner of Dublin Middle School, Mr. Micaiah, for any final remarks that he may have, and then we'll turn it over to any parents who would like to say something, and ultimately at the end, allow our REACH recipients to say anything. Mr. Micaiah. <coughs> All right, thank you, uh, Dr. Stuckey. Um, first off, of course, good afternoon. It's always a great time at Dublin Middle School when we're able to, to celebrate the successes of our students. I want, to, uh, I want to thank Dublin City School Board of Education, Dr. Williams, for their commitment in making sure that this program uh, stays vital. And, and, of course, I want to thank the parents uh, for your determination and dedication to ensure that your, student, your children have been provided the proper guidance um, to, to be acknowledged for what they've done up to this point and of course I want to thank you and commend you as students for what you've done up to this point. Uh, this is merely the beginning. Um, Dr. Stuckey has stated the task that they are charged to uphold in order to enjoy the benefits of this program when they graduate and if you continue to do what you've done up to this point um, you would definitely reap those benefits and, I, and, I, and I'm more than uh, I think that you will um, and I know that you will as far as being able to uphold uh, those charges that have been stated before um, us today. So again, I want to say uh, congratulations uh, for what you've done. And this is just the beginning. Uh, we'll see your continued success throughout high school. And um, I'm sure your parents are grateful as far as uh, this opportunity that you have. And will definitely be grateful uh, when you receive that tuition uh, scholarship and also the money that the school will also match exactly. in order to make this all come to fruition. So again, thank you all so much. Thank you for the commitment that you have as students. And again, I love the way that you're representing Dublin Middle School and Dublin City Schools 
as a whole. So congratulations. To the students, I just want to tell y'all that the sky is the limit. Y'all already set y'all goals. Y'all wrote them down. Y'all made them plain. Y'all know what y'all want out of life. Don't tell, let anybody tell you what you can't do. Keep your head straight. Just keep achieving what you're trying to achieve. Just keep going towards that mark. <coughs> Don't let nothing stop you or turn you around. You might have some stumbling bumps, bumps but it's all here just to make us better. Everything you do is makes you better. Every trial and tribulation you go through, it makes you better. So just stay focused and do a good job like you've been doing. I'm proud of both of y'all. And to the parents, I'm glad that we was able to keep our kids on the right track and keep motivating them to do better in life, to reach the goals that they want to reach, help them become who they want to be in life. And that's it. I just want to say congratulations to both of them, and I'm proud of y'all. Just remember to put God first and everything. And try and just say no to the peer pressure and no to drugs. Continue to do your work and stay on the right task and know that we love you and God loves you too. I just want to say we're proud of you. Stay focused, and we love you. Thank you. This time I would ask uh, our two REACH recipients, Kamario and Martravis, if you would please come to the podium and provide some final remarks. I would like to say thank you all for coming and that I will stay focused and achieve my goals. <laughs> First, I want to thank God and for the support from the teachers and staff and my home teacher for giving me this opportunity. Once again, we thank everyone for coming and closing. Uh, please know we do have some light refreshments, some cake and juice. Um, parents and students, Mr. Jason Holcomb, our PR director, he'll be getting with you. We're willing to take some pictures and actually get you to sign those charges. But at this time, uh, we thank everyone for coming, and we hope that you have a great day. Thank you.